In the previous video, I showed you how to take the seats out the back of your CRV. And in this one, I wanted to um, explain some ideas about the configuration for a platform in the back if you're thinking of turning your CRV into a camper car. This is the second time around for me. So the first time around, I did a flat platform in the back, which was which was great. It worked, but I wouldn't do it again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why I wouldn't do it again be, at the moment for my circumstances. So the numbers, the measurements I've transferred onto this diagram. I think the main points that you want to see here is the wheel arches make a big difference um, they narrow down the available space in the back and also the picnic table has got a wheel well underneath it which holds a load of space. It must be 30, 40 litres, probably more of, of storage space and you're going to want access to that. The main things that you need to think about when you're going through this process is how many people are travelling. If it's just one person, that makes a difference. Do you need a load of storage space? So if you're doing the van life thing and you're going touring around Europe, you probably need more space than if you're just pottering off for the weekend. The platform height at the back makes a difference because you can't sit if it's all just one height. I'll show you in a second. And then the access to the wheel well is important. So let's go and take a look at the back. That's the wheel well, that's the picnic table cover. And as you can see, the wheel arch is um, flare out into the back. You can't just put a solid flat platform in the back because the seats, the driver's seat and the passenger seat need to come back. So the passenger seat there is pushed fully forwards. You get an extra 30 centimeters of space. And again, the, the, the picnic table takes up quite a lot of space. So I did a full width platform on my old build. It was great for two travelers. The platform height was probably up at about 25 centimetres and I had storage space underneath um, with hinged um, access places. But you can't sit, you know, you have to sit with your legs out if you're in there. So just think about that again, what a flat platform would look like. It'd have to come up to the ridge where it drops down and then you'd need to fold something back on hinges. If you're just a single traveller though, it makes it easier. You can have a half width platform um, that means that you can sit on the platform and put your feet kind of on the floor. You still need to think about access to the storage well, to, to the wheel well, but you can kind of get around that. So that's a topper of a standard single IKEA bed. So there's not loads of space there because you've got the wheel arches that come out and I think that's 90 centimetres wide. So in full width, it's about a metre. So then I got an air mattress and just a crate just in the back there just to see what this looks like and I took some measurements here. So an air mattress, standard one, is about 70 centimetres wide and that fits in just nicely because it kind of goes up between the passenger seat and where the table is there. And in lengthways, six foot, this is a 20 centimetre block, I actually use it for propping the car up, but you can sit here like that. Now if you've got the flat platform Obviously, your knees are going to be up and you've got to think about that, about how that's going to I work. I think to summarise, do you need access to the wheel well and the picnic table? There's a good amount of storage in there and I think probably that you, that you do need access to that. Um, do you need a kind of a single bed or a double bed? So is there one of you or two of you? If there's two of you, you're probably going to need that big flat platform in the back. It's actually not that big. You know, it's only about single bed and a half. You need to raise it up a little bit to put some storage underneath there. Again, loads of storage in the wheel well, but you'll probably want more storage underneath that platform. Alternatively, if you're a single traveller, you probably don't need all, all of that storage. And also by cutting the size of the platform in the back, it means that you'll be able to have somewhere where you can, you know, at least sit in and play around with a laptop on, on your knees or have a table and have a bite to eat. So just a few things to think about when you're designing your camper van for the back of your CRV or whatever you're using.